we set out to do a lot more than just create another game that has more levels and different enemies. We wanted to change the player's experience, give them something that they hadn't had before, um, while still retaining the, um, the feel of Jack and Daxter. Wah! That's right! Don't mess with the sugar. In Jack 2, we were able to build upon what we had created before and go in all new kinds of directions and, and uh, create things that would not have been possible with the original engine because we had such a great starting point to work with. We wanted to really up the ante in a number of different realms. First of all, we want to put a lot more things on screen, enemies that were attacking you, things moving around. So the player had the real feeling of being in an inhabited world instead of just a, a pretty world. And that adds a lot more options in terms of gameplay. Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. This story is a much more complex story than the, in the original Jack and Daxter. Um, we're exploring a large number of more adult themes. There's bigger, greater evils around you, and there's betrayal and love. This is not um, just a kid's story. This is a story with a much broader reach. Jack has really done a lot of growing up this game. The plot actually starts out with him spending some time in jail, and he becomes um, hardened, and um, when he emerges, he's, uh, he's definitely changed. We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. I should have had you both kneecapped, eh? We knew what kind of character he was going into the first Jack and Daxter, but now we really have the opportunity to really um, develop his persona and his character. There is a very volatile element to this universe, which is a dark eco. And now we start to see how that's affecting Jack. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. That was cool. Do it again. Here we have the evolution of what became Final Jack. Here we started seeing the, the Jack that we're more used to. His hair got a bit more weighted down. We still wanted to keep it long. Actually, we tried the, the buzz cut here. We tried various little looks. The locks on the side, the, the facial hair still is kind of sticking around. We kind of like this kind of look as well with the rebel look and the old uh, headgear and uh, a bit added on. So we can see that Jack's been through some combat. He's uh, beefed up and he's ready to go. It took us a long time to find the right voice for Jack. But Mike Irwin, I mean, if there is a person in the real world that is Jack, it's Mike Irwin. We've done what you've asked. Now when do we see the shadow? Max Casella has returned to reprise the role as Daxter, and he is just a gold mine for us. This could have a serious impact on the lady factor. He's a bit grown up now because he's now in the big city, and there's a lot of big city vices for him to experiment with. Hot and wait, I've seen you before. Shh. I'm Tess. Play along, and I may be able to get my hands on a few secrets. Ooh, I love undercover work, baby. We were always just thinking that basically, the abuse of Daxter is the fun of this game. The reason the uh, animation looks more sophisticated this time around is because there's been some tweaks to the engine. We're also just being a lot more clever about the way we uh, allocate memory and design our levels. The most visible difference in the cutscenes is that our characters now have upwards of uh, 10,000, 12,000 polys in them, whereas in the first game, the original Jack and Daxter, uh, the characters would have maybe two or three. The bottom line is what we are doing now in real time on the PlayStation 2 took an entire room full of computers hours to do as little as five years ago. We have a much greater amount of detail uh, in the new game. We have rooms, single rooms, single locations on our game that have larger polygon counts, so equal polygon counts to some of the entire levels in the original game. What's great about working with Naughty Dog is these guys are not happy just to have their game look as good as their previous game. They want to set a new standard for animation or artwork or programming on every single game that they do. We're always trying to push the envelope on both on a technical and artistic scale. Jack 2 is really a landmark title for Naughty Dog. We're really trying to create a cinematic feel that will set the new standard that other games will try to emulate.